Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Julie's Orchids. Today, we're going to film a Halloween special repotting. So do stick around. As you can see, we've got something interesting sitting on the table. All right, guys, welcome back to Julie's Orchids and happy belated Halloween, because I'm sure this is going to come out the Saturday after Halloween, which is on this coming Thursday. So I'm obviously pre-recording this, but I'm an American and I live in Australia and Australia is kind of picking up on some Halloween festivities. But in general, you don't have kids trick or treating that much. Uh, at least not over in Western Australia, in the Perth area. There was a smallish display of Halloween decorations at one of our local dollar stores called the Reject Shop. And I saw this plastic clear skull, which actually came with these inside of it. So it, it was a light up plastic skull and it was five bucks. And I thought, Oh, that looked kind of cool. <laughs> um, I work in medical imaging, so I thought it was kind of cool. I'm an American. I like Halloween. It's one of my favorite holidays. And so we're going to turn this into an orchid pot, and we're going to put an orchid in it. So obviously I've already taken the lighty up bit out. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. And what I've already done is in the hole where the lighty up bit stuck, I cut to pieces an old small pot and I've crammed it in there. So what I'm going to do now, obviously, because there's no hole to put an orchid in, uh, I'm going to use a soldering iron and I'm going to put a hole in the back of the person's I'm going to do some trepanning. I'm going to put a hole in the back of the person, the, the skull here, um, maybe some air holes through the back. And we're going to put a small species phalaenopsis. So I'm going to put my species phal equestris in it. We're going to clean it up. It's finally done uh, blooming from its flower spike. It should be putting out some new roots here any minute. And well, for Halloween this year, Julie's Orchids is going to put a species phal in a plastic skull. Stick around. I'm going to go get the soldering iron ready. Okay, guys, for logistical purposes and the way I have outlets set up around the house and able to mount my tripod, I don't think I can safely record uh, myself using an exceedingly hot soldering iron and record and make a holes make holes in this uh, without burning myself or or making a big mess so I'm just gonna do it I'm sorry I don't feel like I could safely film it without getting a serious burn um, and I'll be right back to show you how it's come out all right well there we go so I've drilled some pupils as you can see we've got a sizable hole in the back of the skull and I put some ventilation holes in throughout and again I've got the bottom of a small pot that I've cut off and have kind of shoved in the hole here and it seems to be sitting in there pretty tight so I don't think there's going to be a worry about it falling out uh, so now what am I going to do we're going to put this valley questress and I'm, I'm using a mini fowl and uh, equestris is a species and it's small um, obviously this is a blooming plant uh, this has bloomed for me two years in a row and I think it'll look cool in this skull and it's Halloween so let's put a phalaenopsis in a skull so this is species Phalaenopsis equestris, and it, it's a pretty hardy uh, Phalaenopsis. Um, with repotting fowls, it's really a good idea to wait until you've got some growing green root dips. Their roots tend to be quite a bit more adjustable, adaptable, if you will, uh, with green growing root tips or new root growing. Now I'm I'm going to err on the side of it's coming on Halloween and we're going to risk it because I've got a couple of kickies off this one. If I lose it, not the best, but this isn't the best time to repot this 
fell. But since I'm really just changing its pot from that pot to this pot, and pretty well all of the media that's in there is going to go in here, maybe a little bit more media because this looks like it will hold more, um, I think it'll be okay. So really the only thing I'm going to do is cut off the flower spike. If as I'm taking this out of this pot there's obvious dead roots, I'll trim a few of those off. But it's going to be from here to there, same media, maybe some more media because this one is bigger than that one, but it's going to be pretty straightforward. We're just going to take this one out of that one, put it into this one. Uh, why? Because that's a cool pot. I mean, I think particularly for Halloween coming up, that'd be pretty awesome. And, you know, why not? Um, I've seen local growers put orchids in everything from old hiking boots. And I've even seen some of the local growers here mount them on toilet cleaning brushes not used ones, new ones. Um, so we're going to put this one in a plastic skull lamp turned orchid pot. Um, I cut a hole in the back of the skull's head <laughs> with a soldering iron and I put in some ventilation holes and I put some in the front um, by giving it pupils in the orbital sockets because <laughs> uh, I thought it was funny. Now, first things first, let's just take the tag out um, and let's get rid of this flower spike. So this one had been in flower for quite some time. Equestris will keep producing, um, you can see the flowers kind of started here, then it just kept producing them, clean up till there, and it just recently lost its last flower. Looks like it might have had one more bud forming. Um, but yeah, it pretty well petered out. So I want to repot this, so we're just taking that off there. And see how it goes. It's been in this get up for a while. Oh, and that doesn't look too very bad. The very middle root is dead. Um, but yeah, everything else looks okay. That's a bit squishy there, so we'll just cut that off. But for the most part, this has been in this setup since October of 2022. Uh, looks, roots look pretty happy in the pumice. Super chuffed with that. And I'm just going to take a minute here and get rid of the dead root and the flower spike. Okay, so as I mentioned, we're not giving new media or anything like that. We're just taking what was in there and putting it in here and maybe adding some more. So there's quite a bit of media in here. I'm just going to pour it into there. And now I can reuse this. And yeah, I'm definitely going to need This is definitely going to need more media than what we got here. So I'm going to grab some more pumice. Okay, so we've got our extra pumice. And I'm going to go ahead and just throw some of that in because I think if I do this, I can fill up the face. And then Now this is where I maybe didn't think about this. Maybe I should have put the hole further up here. Well, we're gonna go with it because this is the only one I bought. Um, just gonna go ahead and kind of try to gently shove these roots down in that hole. Now I did water this plant yesterday, so the roots are a bit malleable. And these are some of the aerial roots that I do wanna kind of keep aerial. So I'm gonna hold it Oh boy, I wish I had more hands. I'm going to hold it about like so. And as I put the pumice in, I'll probably let it roll back a little bit. But and actually, I think I'm going to pull this back out. And I'm going to try to force some of the pumice up towards <coughs> the occipital bone. All right, let's try that. <laughs> I 
All right, I'm thinking I'm having problem getting um, the roots in between the biparietal bones. All right. That one's going down into the media. And I'm trying to be gentle here and keeping these roots down in. And I would like it centered about like so. So now I've got mostly down in here to fill. And I'm hoping this will anchor this lot down. And I am just kind of, as I'm dropping it in, sort of using my fingers to push the rock or the pumice sort of where I want them to go. And I might actually need to go get more pumice, but I hope not. And here, as you can see, there's a lot of the small pumice that has been intermixed with my larger pumice, so I'm just trying to be careful not to get many of the small pumices. Now I'm just going to carefully sort of hand place and push down a few pieces. And I think I'm going to put a couple of big river stones here just to anchor this pumice in to keep it from falling out. I'm going to go get some stones and be right back. Okay, so I just have here some regular stones, and I'm just going to kind of shove them right along the edge here, just so hopes that when I'm watering the orchids, the pumice does not fall out. All right, well, let's clean everything up, and we'll have a look at a phalaenopsis in a skull. <laughs> I don't think I like the placement of it. Ah, uh, the heck, it's my first phalaenopsis in a skull. So let's clean it up and have a look. Well, there you have it, guys. Phalaquestris in a skull. Happy Halloween to everybody. I hope everyone had a safe and fun Halloween. And if you went trick-or-treating that there was more tri treats than tricks, but we've got, looks like the skull is wearing a bow right now. Happy Halloween, guys. I know it's a little bit late, but better late than never. Phalaenopsis in a skull. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. A subscribe would be great. Thank you so much again for watching. And have a fabulous day.